It's Imagination Station Day, day here at WTOL 11. Your day, Sarah, is here with us and brought us a piece of uh, Rupert's drop here. We were just talking about this, yep. and we're going to be smashing some glass, I think. So. Yep, so we're going to start with put these guys oh. in. You're not supposed to Ooh. smash the glasses. I know. All right. Luckily, they're plastic. <laughs> they're shatterproof. Okay. Um, so we are going to be talking about different types of glass, which is kind of appropriate because we live in the glass city. Oh, right? I like this. Okay. Um, so the first piece of glass I have over here is actually a piece of laminated glass. Um, now, if you have picture frames or windows at your house, which I'm sure you I do. I hope you have windows, yes. Um, you're going to have something that is actually plate glass. Okay. okay, so that's, oh, that's Napoleon. Everyone say hi, Napoleon. <laughs> is that your dog? <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, so our laminated glass is actually two pieces of that plate glass. Now, if you were to break a picture frame at home, it's going to produce really big, sharp shards of glass, right? right? So our laminated glass, if you take a look kind of like right down the middle, you can see that it's actually two pieces fused together. It's like they're almost glued together. It's yep. like a cake, kind of. And that glue, we could call it, I guess, in between is actually something of a resin, like mm -hmm. a polyvinyl buterol. Polymer. Um, yeah, exactly. So go ahead and put on your gloves. Okay, we got our gloves. And, I like where uh, this is headed because there's a <laughs> hammer right next to glass, right? so I know this is going to be a good day. So go ahead and you're okay. actually going to use your hammer and you're going to give that uh, piece of glass one nice hit. A good little hit right yep, in the middle? right in the middle. Okay. Perfect. It didn't no. really shatter. I expected maybe it would break into pieces. Right, we thought it was going to be worse. There we go. Um, maybe but I'm not strong enough. No, that's exactly what's <laughs> okay. supposed to happen. Okay, all right, good. Because we fused those two pieces of glass together, um, so we still see all of that spider webbing, and we can see where those wow. big shards would be. But because they're fused together, they're held in place, um, they're not going to shatter and be So because there's the resin there, it almost holds it together exactly. instead of just breaking apart. Yes, yeah, so this is laminated glass, and this is what you would have in the windshield of your car. So that's good because you don't want that to break off right. and come into you. Exactly. Okay. So think about if a rock hits your windshield, you get that big spider web sure. crack, but it's not going to come in and hurt you. Okay. So that makes sense. That's why we have it that way. Very good, right? But then um, the other type of glass that you have in your car is actually tempered glass. So this is your windshield, and then your tempered glass is going to be on your side panels and I'll also your back panel. I'll say this looks very familiar. Yeah, it's like a little side panel from an SUV or something. Right. Um, now, I did put a piece of plastic or tape over this just so we don't make a huge mess today. Right. I mean, we like to make some sort of mess, but, but not that big of a mess. Right. So this is all the plastic's almost going to act like the polymer that's in here. Yeah, it's exactly. It's going to hold it together. Okay. So you're going to actually use your hammer again. Okay. You're going to give this kind of a light tap right in the middle. Okay, light tap right yep. in the middle. Okay, ready? Same thing. All right. Hey. We did not break I'm not, that. I'm not that strong. No, go ahead and try again. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Nope. Okay, I'm not so strong enough. That can actually take a pretty heavy hit, right? right. Um, so think about now, you maybe have seen one of these. Now this is a little bit different than that hammer. That has a nice flat surface, right? I've seen these in the cars. I've always wondered why they kind of have the point on the one end. Yeah, so tempered glass is really cool because when it is formed, it's actually um, heated up really, really hot. Okay. And then they blast it with cold air. And that causes the outside of this plate to actually start cooling very rapidly. Interesting. Um, but the inside is cooling very slowly. So it builds up like a lot of pressure or tension sure. inside this piece of glass. So that's why it can take a pretty big hit and from a nice break. flat surface, yeah. But if you were to use your safety hammer, let's say maybe you find yourself in a watery situation and you need to escape out of your car, right. you can use this. So punching it isn't like with a fist or something, isn't gonna do anything. Right. But right. this, okay, let's see what happens. Yep, so right in the middle. Yep. Perfect. That broke it. And you can and look, tell it like crinkles. Yeah, so you can see had we not put that piece of tape on, we'd have like hundreds and thousands of and little you can shards even see all it over. Underneath right here, if you yep. guys get a shot, see some of the glass actually came off right there. Yeah, wow, so that would that. allow you to escape in this. These little crumbles in the bigger scheme of things are actually gonna be a lot safer than these big shards of glass coming at you, right? Right, so if you needed to get out quick, that's the way you wanna do it. You gotta have one of yeah. these handy in your car. Exactly. Okay. So now, um, what we're gonna talk about, like you said, these Prince Rupert drops. I'm gonna take my gloves off here for a second. These look very precious. <laughs> these are really cool. So um, these are actually made the same way our tempered glass is made. So a gob of hot glass is dropped into a bucket of cold water, and the outside starts to cool very quickly, kind of right. forming a shell, while the outside, or the inside, sorry, the inside is cooling uh, a lot more slowly. So, so it's basically so cooling from the outside in. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's got this nice long tail on it. So actually, we're going to put these inside our box. Okay. Okay. Anytime so, we've got the big box, it's going to be a good day. Right. Okay. I'm going to actually borrow that hammer for you. Okay, we've got the hammer. Okay, so yep. we're going to see just how strong this is. If it's going to be kind of similar to our uh, our tempered glass. So it Which can withstand kind it's the be hit. Like. Yeah. So I'm actually going to use my hammer here. 
now. Okay, we've got one in there. All right. My, uh, you ready? All right, let's see it. Whoa. Whew. All right, so I had to hit that one pretty <laughs> hard but in order once, to cause it to but shatter. Once it shattered, it went into like a million pieces in there. Yeah. Okay, let's put another one in. Okay. Because that's pretty cool, right? Uh, that was kind of fun. This time we're gonna use a different tool. We're gonna actually use like a little pair of nippers. Okay. All Sweet. right. Now, um, these Prince Rupert drops were actually special made for us by Bill and Michelle McKinney out mm -hmm. in West Unity. So thank you to Bill and Michelle. Thank you very much. For uh, helping us make science awesome. And these are gobs of glass, you Yep, said. Gobs. gobs of glass, yep. <laughs> All right, so now if we want to zoom in, if, we're, if we can, and kind of keep an eye right there on the bulb, I'm actually going to take my nippers and I'm just going to pinch off the tail of this. Okay. And we're going to try and release all that pressure. So we're just going to yep. snip it. Whoa! <laughs> it was like in your hand, too. Isn't that crazy? So the tension gets released and it, it's almost yeah, like a chain Yeah, and it causes effect. like this huge explosion of glass. Now. I know it happened really, really fast, but if you go to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. we do have some slow-mo footage of it, and it's just amazing to see how fast it shatters and how far. Do we just have to look for Imagination Station? It's Imagination Station OH. OH. Yep. Okay. That's easy enough to find. <laughs> Sarah, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. That's a lot of fun, and I got to use a hammer today. That's right? a good day. All right. We'll be <laughs> back with more WTOL 11, your day, in just a moment. I'm going to smash some more stuff. Stay with us.